Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to use gradients in Painter and in particular I'm just going to go through the various options for the spiral gradient. Now uh, the way I use the gradients I'm going to use it on a layer. I think that's always best. One thing with layers you can always delete layers. You can't really delete a background once you've got a background and you've applied something to it you can't do much with it. So obviously the key thing is the uh, gradients. Here's the gradients. You can find it in the window, media library, gradients. And there's a selection of gradients, a nice selection, basic default gradients that come with Painter. And I'm just going to now apply that, fill, click OK, and there you are. You've got a lovely spiral. Now, I'd love to see this in Photoshop. And the one thing with Painter, which is really odd, is the fact you can't actually move the center you can't pull it over here pull it over here obviously it'd be lovely to be able to apply it as is actually in place instead of a dialogue anyway each application has its own ways of doing things and I'm just now I can probably spend a lifetime saying why does Photoshop have it and why doesn't paint have it anyway there's also other options you can modify the mirror double left to right and they change them subtly for uh, sometimes good sometimes indifferent so set the angle by this so you can just uh, yeah, you can see a slightly different when you select that one a double left you can see just nicely joins and goes around that way that's right to left mirrored and that's obviously the other way as well and again just nice join there right Another thing you can do, obviously you can increase the number of, and that's something again that that uh, Photoshop lacks, it would be really nice to see, but, uh, but anyway, I'm actually going to use this feature to actually create another layer, and I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to fill that, and I'm just going to fill with the current setting, and now, of course, instead of just creating a single gradient, you can actually create more sort of unusual gradients just by com combining them and I'm just going to go over to the layers of course that's window menu find layers and combine them in different ways gel magic combine I always like that one multiply that one's quite a nice one very uh, sort of old movie approach I think um, so also, of course, now you can actually combine even more. So I'm just going to combine another one, and I'm going to change this again. I'm just going to just going to go for a slightly different option. Fill, click OK, and I can again difference, sort of Art Deco sort of uh, right, and you can continue to experiment using different combinations. Magic combine, I like that one. So anyway, so basically combine multiple great. And of course, you don't have to just go stick with uh, spirals. You can, of course, do other, other options. Now, I'm actually just going to quickly edit that one. And to edit the gradients, you just go edit gradient there. And you can modify the position. Also, you can, of course, while you're doing that, you can actually add another color. I'm just going to say there, and now I can go fill, and that's applied. And again, of course, as I've got as a layer, I can delete it at this point, or I can change the opacity, make it more pencil-like, sort of more. Ah, that's much nicer. Right at this point, I'm actually going to go and say drop all of those. And you can, of course, use the spirals to create vast numbers of different spiral designs, which would be very difficult just to create, obviously, from a single gradient. Now, effects, and I'm just going to go for apply surface texture. I'll just move that just slightly. And you can create quick and easy three dimensional. Now, that's one feature that's pretty tricky in Photoshop. Unless you use a plugin. So uh, uh, there are lots of great things in Painter, and this is one of them. I think 
love the 3D effects of specially applied with gradients. Anyway, I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. It'll be really great. Always adding new videos and uh, thank you much.